When did it get to a point where we would sit one foot beside somebody in the presence of another human being for multiple hours, yet not say a word to the person on the seat beside? So a lot of you have been probably watching episode one, episode two of The Seat Beside, and a bunch of people have been asking us, what the heck is The Seat Beside? So we wanted to put together this video to explain exactly what it is and the backstory behind it. And The Seat Beside for me started close to two years ago. I was sitting in an airport in Brisbane ready to fly to Melbourne to visit some clients. And I saw a little girl run up to her dad and you could just see that she was so excited. It looked like it was gonna, it was her first flight. And she's tugging on her dad's pants saying, you know, daddy, 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 look, 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 there's an airplane, there's an airplane. And as parents, we do, we get really good at this talent where we're flicking through the paper and go, oh yes, honey, oh great, yeah. Not paying attention to anything. And at that moment, I realized it's, you know, the kids have got it. The kids in the world have got it. They, they pay attention to the small things, the exciting things. And she didn't miss out. Her dad's lack of enthusiasm didn't diminish hers in any way. Um, but he missed out on something pretty, pretty special. Now that got me thinking, right? I was th mulling a few things over. And, and this led me on this idea that perhaps if we all took time to talk to the person beside us, that perhaps the world would be a very different place. I banked that idea for a while. And then when I was in San Francisco writing my next book, The Opposite Effect, I came across this little journal. That was the moment that I decided that I'd create this project called The Seat Beside, which is really documenting just everyday life and the people that we communicate with on every, every single day. And each, each page here is gonna be turned into a piece of wisdom from everyone. So the seat beside, what you're watching right now, is simply just documentation of what we do every single day. And then, putting that all together and writing this book over the next 10 years, this project is really all about collaboration. Um, obviously involved in quite a few different businesses now from a coffee shop to a co-working space to a boutique book publishing company to a sales and marketing consulting firm but what I really love about what I do every day is collaboration and creative collaboration so you might have seen that we're featuring local artists and we're doing our very best to source some really great talent right across Australia as far as even the music that's involved, but we're also collaborating with a lot of people that we come in contact with. And we're doing that very deliberately because we want to start something. The Seat Beside for us is a way or a platform to encourage people to continually find those little nudges. And that's what this thing is for me. That's what this thing is for us collectively as a team, is to pay attention to the nudges to compliment that person when they make a fantastic coffee, when you um, simply find someone that you can actually talk to. And perhaps if you're uh, sitting in an airport right now about to jump on a damn plane, maybe make, take a moment to say hello to the person beside you because you never know when you're just gonna get pat and interrupted by somebody that just drops a bombshell on your life. And you may never see that person again, but it's from that nudge, it's that, hey, I should probably say hello to that person that you just never quite know what you're gonna get. The why for me is more so allowing people to understand that they have the incredible ability to positively influence someone. It's the 1% game. Yes. But what's the why for them? To show them that they can do it too. Thank you.